So let's say we have a particle in the um, constrained to live between 0 and L. And at t equals 0, the wave function is, uh, of course, it's 0 outside of the well. But let's make it um, C in the region um, greater than a third. So let's do L over 3 and less than 2L over 3. So if we plot this psi of x and 0, then we have a function that looks like this. This is 0, this is L. Uh, we have L over 2, this is L over 3, and 2L over 3. And so let's say that's C. Uh, well, uh, C is, let's say it's a real number. So uh, we have... So uh, let's say that we want to ask, um, first of all, let's find what C is. All right, so C is equal to, and then let's ask what possible values of energy, En, are possible if we make a measurement of the energy of the system. So first we have to normalize. So we know that C modulus squared, but that's just C squared because I made C real. So uh, two of L over three to two L over three, right? That's Psi modulus squared. If I integrate that, I have to get one. And this becomes, I just have C squared and I get X evaluated from here to there, and so that's 2L over 3 minus L over 3, and so I get L over 3, and that has to be equal to 1, so what follows from that is that C, um, the magnitude of C, well, we're, we're, let's assume C is, is um, we'll just assume a, a positive number, uh, anyway, the magnitude of C, let me solve for this, is equal to uh, square root, the positive square root of 3 over L. And so we have psi of x and 0 is equal to root 3 over L. Um, for this range, it's just a constant. And then we can ask, <coughs> what are the values of energy that you can obtain in a measurement? And for this, we want to be able to recognize that this function, which is uh, discontinuous here, uh, is obtained by uh, an infinite sum of energy eigenfunctions. So we want to break this up into energy eigenfunctions. And the thing to notice here is that the function that we have has a definite parity. So with respect so there, it looks exactly the same if we rotate the function about that axis. And so we need, this is going, going to be the result of an infinite sum over eigenfunctions with the same parity, namely even parity. And so the ones that have even parity are n uh, odd. And so in a measurement, you'll, you'll get a an odd n as the energy, and we could evaluate that and see how big each cn is and take the modulus squared if we wanted the, the, uh, the weight or the probability of finding that value of energy, but n would have to be odd.